Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this coordinate systems and vector components problem, they give us more vectors, d, v, and a, and they want us to draw these and then again find the x and the y components. So this is the same as the last problem that we did, just with different vectors. So just like we did before, let's draw these vectors first, and then we'll find the x and the y components. So for vector d, they say that it is 2 kilometers 30 degrees left of the positive y-axis. So this is positive and it's to the left of that, 30 degrees. So we have 30 degrees right here and vector d is two kilometers. For vector v, we have five centimeters per second in the negative x direction. So we have negative five centimeters per second. And lastly, for vector A, we have 10 meters per second squared, 40 degrees left of the negative Y axis. So negative Y, and we're 40 degrees to the left of that. So we have 40 right there. This is vector A, this is vector V, and this one was 10 meters per second squared. So now let's start on A and find the X and the Y components to it. So for a or vector d, we'll say d sub x for the x component and d sub y for the y component. So in the x component for this one, it's right here, and that is going in the negative x direction. So this we know right off the bat will be negative. This value is opposite of the angle, and we have the hypotenuse, so we'll be using sine. Sine, of course, is sine of the angle is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. We want to isolate the opposite for the, y, the x component. So let's multiply both sides of the equation by h. So now we have h in this case is two kilometers. So two kilometers times the sine of the angle 30 will give us the x component for vector d. I'll wait and plug both of them into the calculator at the same time just to save a little bit of time here. So for the y component, it's this value right here, which is adjacent to the angle. So in that case, we'll use cosine or ka and so katoa, which is cosine of the angles equal to adjacent over the hypotenuse. Exact same process, multiply both sides of the equation by h. So the hypotenuse is, and it's a positive y direction, so it'll be two kilometers times the cosine of the angle 30 degrees will give us the y component. So negative two times sine of 30 gives us negative one. And then we have positive two times the cosine of 30 gives us root three, which is 1.7. Negative one kilometers for the x component for vector d. And then we have a positive 1.7 kilometers for the y component for vector d. Moving on to part b for the vector v, in this case, we only have an x component. So the x in this case is a negative five centimeters per second. So the y component in this case, obviously there is no y, so it's zero centimeters per second. Lastly, for vector Lastly, for part C, we have vector A. So we have vector A in the X and vector A in the Y. So for the X component, we need this value right here. And now we're going in the negative X direction again. So it's opposite of the angle. So we're going to have sine for opposite. So we'll have the hypotenuse, which is 10 meters per second squared, times the opposite or sine of the angle 40 degrees. The adjacent right here will give us the y component. Adjacent with the hypotenuse is cosine. So we have 10 meters per second squared again times the cosine of the angle 40 will give us the answer for this one. So we have negative 10 times the sine of 40 gives us a negative 6.4 and negative 10 times the cosine of 40 gives us a negative 7.7. .7. So we have negative 6.4 meters per second squared and negative 7.7 .7 meters per second squared. 
So here are all the x and the y components for the three vectors a, v, and d. And we have the drawn vectors right here on our graph.